Let me put you on game. Don't listen to people who lose, or you'll do the same. Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you're saying. Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane. Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame. Let me put you on game. The money is up and it's down, it's just how it goes. Everyone's going through something. What up, though? I was cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome collective out there. I hope everyone of every zodiac sign is doing well. So we're about to get into this reading, y'all, and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. If you find that something resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. So I feel like looking at these numbers, we got 33, 32, 22. So I'm seeing lots of threes and twos, okay? So threes talks about like collaborations, working together, working with people. Things being balanced in your life, this can do with love, partnership. But I feel like with this 33, I feel like that you are heavily supported, you guys. If this is something you're not doing now, this could be something that you're going to be doing in the future, right? I feel like that you're going to be very fruitful. You're going to multiply. But I feel like there are going to be lots of people that love you. And they're going to be loving you and they're going to be praising you. Kind of like the Six of Wands energy, right? And I feel like all because you're using your voice, you're using your voice, your, your words have power. They, they, they heal, they, they do something. It's like a medicine, a treatment for lots of people, but you are supported. And I feel like some of you, you're going to be like taking some type of path to where maybe you won't have family and friends that will be supporting you. Like these are going to be perfect strangers who support you here. I feel like some of you have betrayed yourself because you're not sharing your voice. Your words have power, okay? And people need to hear your story so that you can help other people, okay? So I feel like if it's like, if you're not sharing your story, it's kind of like you're not speaking up and, and helping other people on their path too. And that could be a part of your journey. Some of you can be in this resistance energy. Maybe you're resisting doing something, sharing your voice. It could be out of fear, you know, or, or feeling like you're going to be judged. Maybe feeling like you're going to mess it all up. Maybe you stumble. You know, you feel like you failed. But it's time for you to show up for yourself. You ghost your own dreams and resist your own magic. So stop holding back, worrying and pretending to see perfection that will never come. None of us are going to be perfect. It's only one perfect person, okay? Resistance may look like procrastination. So there's no one you're supposed to be doing something, but you steadily putting it off, being lazy disorganized, using excuses for why you can't do this or why you can't do that, or low, lack of motivation here. But I feel like you doing this is going to put you in this energy where you're really going to be shining. And I'm telling you, like, people are going to view you as the goal, baby, the greatest of all time. And I feel like it's you. You're growing like this tree. You know, like this big sycamore tree here that's, like, growing and evolving, but you're also changing here. But I feel like you're resisting some type of change here out of fear. You were born to shine. You were born to sing. You were born to be heard. Be a movement. People need to know your name. They need to know your dance. They need to know your story. Okay? You're being dared to rise up and shine. But it starts with courage. Okay? I feel like some of you, it's like, you know your path. And you know something that you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be a speaker or something. But it's like you're you're procrastinating. You know what I'm saying? You're delaying this path because of fear. You know, fear of what people are going to say. Fear of what people are going to come in and say about you, man. Fuck them folks collective. Do what you know that you're destined and what you're being called to do, all right? Because why? Because you're going to have a lot of haters regardless. You're going to have people that's going to hate you if you're going to do this shit. You're going to have people that's going to hate you if you don't do it. So you should you just will to go on and do it, right? There's people around you that constantly convince other people that they are this and they are this. This is someone who watches you, right? So people are going to be watching you, but you're going to have some haters around you that's going to be like, oh, I can do like the collective. I'm, they say they know this or they know that. You know what I'm saying? I know the science. So it's like people are going to be comparing themselves, feeling like, you know, you ain't no better. You ain't no different than they are. Some of you are going to have a project or something that you're going to put out, something that could go viral. And then you're going to have somebody that's going to claim they did it first. Okay. You got a soldier boy on your hands. Okay. They know again damn well. Whoever this person is, they got inspired by you. Like, whoever this person is, they constantly got to convince other people, like, they're on your level and they're the same as you. This is someone you really, you inspire this person, but I feel like they hate you at the same fucking time. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this is your hater. This is your biggest hater and your biggest fan. Like, they can't stop watching you for nothing, but every time you turn around, they hating on you. They ain't got nothing good to say. 
Some of you need to seek some type of um, cord cutting ritual or see someone who can perform one. Now, I can't perform one for you. I can't lead you to nobody that can. But this could be something, you know, that you can seek after. So some of you could be attached to a certain person. This could be like family or a lover or something. Someone around you wants to alter your, your morals and your values, okay? Because you stand for something. You know what they say? You stand for something, you're going to fall for anything, right? So you stand for something, and whatever it is that you stand for, you are doing that. But this person here, they want to alter your morals. You know, they don't want you to have good morals and good values. It's someone who wants you to make poor and bad decisions, so they'll have something to talk about. And we ain't trying to give nobody nothing to talk about here, okay? Someone could be causing you to lose your appetite. So maybe this could be someone around you, maybe putting, I ain't going to say stuff on your food, but like, I don't know, they wishing stuff up on you, but shit, for some of us, hell, it, it won't hurt, it ain't going to help, I can't even talk, it ain't going to hurt us, you know, we miss a few meals here and there, shit. <laughs> we got to get a dream catcher to hang over your bed, I don't know exactly what this is, but I guess possibly do with your dreams, like someone here could be trying to tap into you know, your dreams and figuring out what kind of downloads and things that you're receiving. Well, you got some haters in your energy, boy. And I'm telling you because you were born to shine. So it's like regardless whether you step into this energy now or later, you're still going to have people that's hating on you. You're still going to have people that's going to have something to say. So if that's what you're worried about, like procrastinating, holding it back, ain't going to make a difference here, okay? There's someone in your energy that wants you to miss out on some type of opportunity, okay, or lose an opportunity. Some of you may have an opportunity to do something big. You know, you may get an offer, you know, to do something or collaborate with someone. Because remember, I said I saw lots of threes and lots of twos, okay, to talk about partnerships, collaborations, working with people. So someone here, maybe you share this information. Like, oh, man, I got, it. I just got a deal from woop de woop this and that, you know, and this is someone who's going to send you lots of negative energy, Hoping that you miss out on some type of opportunity here. That's crazy. Like, this is how bad people do not want to see you shine. You also got somebody that's trying to blackmail you here. This could be a feminine energy. They're trying to dig up as much dirt on you as they can because they want to be able to use this information against you later on. Okay, so a push come to shove and a situation don't go out in their favor or don't go the way they want to go, oh, they're going to try to bring up these papers all collected. Well, you know, shit on December 12th, 1995, you know what I'm saying? You did this and you did that. Like someone here wants to bring up some type of dirt so they can use it against you later. And that's why you're being called like, man, speak up, share your story. Share your voice. People need to hear your words are powerful, and people need to hear what you have to say here, okay? Because you are always born to shine. There is no need to resist this change. There is no need to be afraid because whatever going to happen, going to happen here, okay? All right, y'all. So let's see. Let's see who this is about. Let's get the signs here. This could be your sign or, you know, someone who you feel like who been hating on you. We got Heavy Leo, Aries, Gemini. Virgo, Scorpio, Libra, Sag. Heavy Cancer, Aries, and Sag. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.